Spare tire and tools. In the event of a flat tire, please follow all the advanced preparations and safety precautions in your owner's manual. Your jack and tool kit can be found in the cargo area of the vehicle right next to the back doors. Remove these straps to pull the tool kit out. Then move this bar down and to the side as shown to remove the jack. Be sure to place the wheel blocks provided with your vehicle on either side of the tire that is diagonally opposite the flat tire to help keep the vehicle from accidentally moving. Now, place the square end of the J-shaped rod into the end of the connecting rod. Then fit the square end of the connecting rod into the square hole of this wheel nut wrench to form a handle. With your tools at hand, open the back doors and find this oval-shaped opening just above the middle of the back bumper. Insert the J-shaped end of your jack rod into the opening until it reaches the spare tire winch directly above the spare tire. Slip the J-shaped end of the jack rod into the opening of the tire winch. Apply pressure and turn the jack rod counterclockwise. You'll see the spare tire begin to lower. Once it is fully lowered to the ground, reach under the vehicle and remove the retainer chain. Then carefully slide the tire from under the vehicle. If your vehicle is equipped with wheel covers, you must first remove them to get to the wheel nuts. Do not attempt to use your hands to remove a wheel cover. The end of your wheel nut wrench is designed to pry it off. Your owner's manual has explicit instructions and diagrams to help you safely proceed. Follow these and the other emergency instructions you'll find there. You'll also find further instructions on the label attached to your jack body. Proceed with caution when jacking up your vehicle, removing the flat tire, and installing the spare tire.